What's up everybody, I just picked up this Mini Cooper and in this video, I'm gonna show you all the sweet little hidden features of these cars. Now, if you're like me and grew up in the 90s, you probably spent a good chunk of your time watching James Bond movies and playing N64 Mario Kart and then dream to yourself, maybe someday I can have a car that not only handles like a go-kart, but is also a spy mobile. Well, I think I happened upon this car because a month ago, I bought myself a 2012 Mini Cooper for the nice gas mileage and the sporty little handling that Mini Coopers have. But then I stumbled upon this feature of the dash opening up. So I was just cleaning the dash and I clicked on this little secret compartment where you must store all your legal drugs or whatever you must store in there. And I thought, what other secret compartments and cool features does with this Mini Cooper have? So for all you people watching this video on YouTube, I have searched the internet and compiled a list of all the cool features of a Mini Cooper. I hope you enjoy it. Let's jump right into it. So yep, first thing on my list is obviously this little glove compartment contraption here. So you click it and it opens right up. Just push it back down. That's number one. Next on my list is actually in the actual glove compartment. There's this tiny little vent that is hooked up to the rest of your car's vent. So when it's pumping cold air, you're cooling off your drinks. Or when it's pumping warm air, you're warming up your snacks or lunch. Another sweet feature about your Mini Cooper is up on the control panel above your rear view mirror. There's this little light that will control, you can see the light flickering on my hand, but there's colored dome lights or LED lights across the interior of your Mini Cooper. And if you pull it back, you can dim the light. And if you push it forward, you can change the color of the light. Uh, number four, maybe it's not the coolest thing for Mini Cooper enthusiasts, but for a general car owner, check out how these headlights open. The hood goes around the headlights. How cool is that? It's Mini Cooper's answer to pop-up headlights or how, uh, I don't know, old Shelby Cobra has the hood attached with the headlights. But I think these headlights are super cool and unique to Mini Cooper. So excuse the dirt on my engine compartment here, but two other things about these Mini Coopers. One is there's typically a paint tag right there. Uh, for some reason, mine doesn't have it, but every other Mini Cooper I looked at did have its paint code right there, which is awesome. If you're ever trying to fix chips or dents and you're wondering what color it is, you don't have to go looking up the VIN and see what color your Mini Cooper actually is. Uh, another thing that's kind of cool about these is this snorkel. So down by the driver's side headlight, there's a snorkel for your cold air to go up into your air filter. Uh, previous owner of this car put a k and filter and then left that little opening right there thinking, you know, a hood scoop would pump air into there. What I've seen online is these hood scoops don't actually do much. Mine doesn't even have a hood scoop, but anyways, it's kind of cool how the cold air is coming in through this headlight opening right here, pumping into your intake. While we're out here, I only have the base model of the headlights, but if you have the Xenon headlights, they actually track the road going up and down. And next on my list is this sweet moonroof. It almost takes up the entire ceiling of this Mini Cooper. There's two moonroofs to be exact. So if you press the button once, you're gonna get this like speed demon fish looking fin look. And then if you hold the button back, you're gonna get the typical open space of your moonroof. Awesome design, I really like it. It may be not totally unique to Mini Cooper, but I love this European style and I love that Mini Cooper incorporated it. Another fun thing Mini Cooper did is they actually made a RSC or a run flat system component. So a run flat tire, but if it has a special little star next to it, that means you have yourself a Mini Cooper run flat specifically designed for Mini Coopers. Now focusing on this tack area over here and these levers, there's some awesome stuff going on. First is the tack itself is a transflective LCD screen, which means if you're driving down the road, all this stuff that's red will actually turn white so you can still see what you need to read behind the sun glare. And more on this blinker switch and what's displayed on your tack. When you first start driving your Mini Cooper, you're probably wondering like, where's my oil pressure? Where's my temperature? Blah, blah, blah. Where's the temperature outside miles per gallon? If you actually press this button on the side or the button on the top right there, it's gonna toggle through the tack all the settings you can have. And if you don't happen to have a setting, you can go to the set info and put oil pressure, battery strength or anything. 
So that's a nice little feature. And the last thing on this blinker switch is actually how it functions. It's kind of overly German engineered like the rest of the car, but really practical in all honesty. So if you half click the button, you're gonna get one blink. So when you're changing a lane, it's perfect for that. And then if you hold the lever all the way down, it's going to give you a full blink until you complete your turn. So what this means is you're not gonna be doing a full lever press and then driving down the road with your blinker on like a knucklehead. And since we're in this area, take a look at that climate control. Does that look like anything to you? Boom, totally a Mini Cooper logo, right? There you go. Not anything functionally awesome, but a nice little design touch on Mini Cooper's part. Thank you, Mini Cooper. Now, the Mini Cooper key fob. This thing deserves a video of its own, but here are a couple of the cool little features that it has. First off, the key fob has a little valet feature, so you can pull the key out of the fob. You can even do this when it's running. So say you need to run back into your house, you can keep your car running. Just pull the key fob with the rest of your keychain out, run into your house, and then grab whatever you need to grab. The other cool thing about this key fob, you can turn the car off and within 30 seconds, you don't need to put the key fob back in to start the car. I don't know if it's totally true, but the key fob, I guess, when it's actually clicked into this little compartment here, it's now actually charging itself through the car battery and alternator. And the last really cool thing about the key fob is when you're walking up to your car, if you hold the unlock button, it's going to roll down all your windows and open your sunroofs if you have them. So the windshield wipers are pretty sweet. If you set the windshield wipers to start wiping at whatever speed, they can be high or low. So they'll be wiping, wiping, wiping. And then when you come to a stop, they're going to slow down. Just like when you accelerate and your radio decides to turn itself up, the windshield wipers on a Mini Cooper have that same kind of effect. So on a lot of Mini Coopers, underneath this back seat right here, there's actually a little lever. I actually opened mine up and didn't see it, but a lot of Mini Coopers do have this little lever right here. You pull it and it will open up the back trunk lid. So maybe a design for when your battery dies or whatever. Anyways, that's pretty cool. I don't know if this is anything special, but on the base model Mini Cooper, there's this little hand lever that will actually raise and lower your seat, which is kind of nice because I don't have a fancy electric seat, but I can still raise and lower my seat with this little lever. And the last super cool thing about a Mini Cooper is the gas cap itself it has this little manual pull that locks. So when you actually hit the lock button, this little pole shoots out and actually manually locks your gas cap so nobody's, you know, stealing your gas or putting sugar in your tank or doing whatever people do when they're trying to get into your gas caps. And that was all the little hidden secret features I could find of a Mini. So if this video helped you out or if I missed any cool features that you know of, please leave a comment. If you guys are into these car-related videos, check out my channel for more. Thanks for watching.